Right guys, welcome to Red Dead Redemption 2, the game I think all of us have been waiting for, and I've put about 6 or 7 hours into it, and I can say that it is not a letdown in one bit at all. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to unlock the general store, so that you can buy and sell the items that you find in the game world. And in order to unlock this, what you want to do is finish chapter 1, which is basically like a tutorial chapter, it's going to take you through the sort of stuff you can do in the game and then you'll come to the camp that we're at now when you begin chapter 2 and as soon as you begin chapter 2 I think he sits somewhere over here but you can there'll be a U in a yellow circle on your map and that is uncle and if you go and speak to him a mission will trigger and then if we jump onto my horse I'm going to show you, not the exact route, but I'll show you where you end up. It's a little town called Valentine. Right, so I've set a little route on our minimap in the bottom left. And this is the route you'll be taking with Uncle. There'll be, like, girls on the back of the carriage. And you and him will be up front riding the horses into this town. And on the way, there might be some people that stop you as well. Like, that for me, I don't know if it's different for everyone. But for me, there was a guy that was riding with his carriage and I think, I, I don't even know what happened, but one of his horses come loose. So we had to go and calm it and retrieve it for him. But doing them little like side missions and stuff when people ask for help. Are you serious? This might be, don't, don't keep shooting my horse. There's one more, isn't there? No, 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 no. Get away. Oh no, I've left my carbine... Re I've, I'm gonna die. No. I can't believe they jumped me. Reload, quick! Anybody's found will be reported and lawmen dispatched to investigate, hide or dispose of bodies to avoid unwanted detention. Okay, well, I wasn't expecting to be jumped by the O'Driscolls. So I'm going to quickly loot these bodies. And as I was saying, a, a guy was riding along on his carriage, but when he was riding along, one of his horses come loose. So he asked us to go and like fetch the horse, so we jumped down off our carriage and we went and calmed the horse down. Well, I did that. Obviously, you can choose to ignore it, but I recommend that you do all the little like help missions that you get offered because they increase your honour and when your honour's increased, like, it's going to help you out in the story. Like People are going to see you in a different way. Like If your honour's low, people might start becoming aggressive. They might not. Like, they won't trust you to new missions and stuff like that. So, I'm trying to spare everyone's lives that I possibly can. Except the O'Driscolls. I don't know why they're attacking me like that out in the open. But obviously, it's their mistake because I've killed them all. Although, my horse is very, very close to dying. I'm going to need to heal him up. Okay, so if we continue following the, like, the route in the bottom left after being jumped for no reason... Well, I don't think there's a reason. It might have been because I did just kill two of their, like, gang members. But we follow this path. You can see the town there. Oh, there's Uncle being chucked out. And he wants me to go help him. Um. I wanted to hitch him. But when Uncle brings you here, there's loads of different places. And the general store is here, which allows you to buy and sell things. So, if we step inside, the shop is closed. I don't know what time they open. We're going to wait here until the morning. Right, now, if we go into the general store, what I like about this game is the fact that you don't need to actually go and talk to the shopkeeper. You can just look on the shelves 
and you can buy some of the stuff. But obviously, it's not the full catalogue. So if you come over to the shopkeeper. Everything in that is available for purchase. We have all these different categories of stuff that we can buy. So if we have a look at the hunting and fishing. I've actually bought quite a lot of it. As you can see at the top right, I've got $350. There's arrows you can buy, there's a cover scent lotion, so when you're out hunting, you can use it and it blocks your scent, so the animals can't detect you as easy. And then there's bait, there's worms and stuff like that for fishing. I've bought the pocket watch, it's, it's supposed to display the current time, but I don't know where to look for the time. There's gun oil, because you need to maintain the condition of your guns, otherwise their damage and stuff will be decreased. And then there's a coffee percolator so that you can make coffee at your camp. And then the one thing I think we are all interested in is not in this shop. If we leave the general store, because that's just food and stuff like that. And we walk past, there's the bar on the left. You've got a barber's in there. But if you come over to here... We have a gunsmith. Mm, do come in. What can I do for you? So if we browse the catalogue, we have revolvers, pistols, repeaters, rifles, shotguns, ammo, and accessories. So the accessories, you can get an upgraded gun belt, which permanently increases capacity for the revolver and pistol ammo by 50%. You'll see a few people in town with that too. So there's not many, like as you can see, there's not many accessories. But you can buy all the ammo and stuff here, you can even get your arrows. And then this is where we start to get to the guns. They're quite expensive. I've only I've pretty much just started, so when you're further in the game, they're probably not actually gonna cost that much compared to what you have. But we've got a repeating shotgun, $185. Semi auto 225, pump action 148, double barreled, which I've got, sword off shotgun, which I have. Then into the rifles, we have a Carcano rifle, 190, rolling block, 187. And I love the way they do this, or the way they've done this. Because if we zoom in, they actually have a full-on description about the guns. It's not just, oh, that's this gun, you're just going to go buy it. And we have the Litchfield repeater for 145. Then we've got the Lancaster repeater, 135. We've got the Carbine. Then the pistols, the Morza pistol, or however you pronounce that, is $250 and is currently locked. Then, as well as there being a general store and the gunsmith, you've got the newspaper guy on the end. I don't know what he's really there for. You have drugs, so you've got the doctor. And then over here, you've got the sheriff. And if you go in here, you can collect bounties. You can uh, pull off bounties. So you can go hunting for people that have broken the law. You can bring them in and you get rewarded money. The first one I did, I had to go search for a guy, I brought him back in, and I was rewarded $50. The second one I picked up, which I'm currently in the middle of doing now, you only get $25, but I think the prices are going to vary, depending on what the person's done. And along with that, a little bit further down the road, if we quickly bring the map up, you'll see there's a post office. When you break laws and stuff like that, you will have a bounty put on your head. Just pop into the post office and pay the bounty off and then your wanted level will basically disappear. Although it can be quite expensive. But yeah, get to chapter 2, go and talk to uncle, do the mission, come down to Valentine which is this little town. And you'll unlock the general store, you can buy and sell your items here. And there's some other cool stuff, I'm not going to say everything that's down here. But let me know in the comments what you guys think of this game. Is it as good as all the hype made it out to be before release and also i want to know how far into the game you guys are that is going to be the end of this video i hope you enjoyed it thank you for watching